All right, let's take a look at question number nine. Question number nine is assessing ability to carry out total cost calculations. Okay, question nine reads, it costs $8 for an adult ticket to a reggae concert and S dollars for a student ticket. The difference between the costs of 12 adult tickets and eight student tickets is $36. Which of the following equations represents this relationship between A and S? All right, if you remember if, um, in part one of this uh, volume, volume two, question number two involved uh, total cost calculations. So we're going to be using the same uh, formula that we went over in, in um, problem two uh, in, in problem nine also. Okay. All right, but before we start, we have to go over what the what operation the word difference means because it also plays a role in uh, the determination of our equation. So we're looking at the difference between two costs, okay? The 12 adult tickets and 18 um, student tickets. So what does difference mean? Let's go over that operation real quick. So you want to remember that difference basically means subtract, okay? All right, now let's look at the formula that's gonna guide our problem solving process here. Formula for total cost. So the total cost is basically equal to the unit price multiplied by the quantity, all right? So here we have two things we're, look, we're dealing with. We're dealing with adult tickets and student tickets. So we're gonna be, we have two total costs that we're gonna be combining to yield the total cost, okay? And then we're gonna be finding the difference between each. All right, so based on this problem, um, the difference, the difference between the uh, cost of adult and student tickets um, is 36, right? So this is the problem in word form. Let's now rewrite it using symbolic notation. But in order for us to do this, um, let's break it up first. Uh, so we're looking at the difference between the cost of adult tickets and student tickets. So in order to do that, uh, we're going to be looking at the absolute value of the total cost of adult tickets. And we're going to be subtracting the total cost of student tickets. We're using the absolute value uh, quantity he, um, operation here because we don't know which is bigger, okay? Uh, if we put in the absolute value, we're guaranteed to always get 36, regardless of which is bigger. That's what the absolute value uh, sign is there for. Don't let it confuse you, okay? It's not that important. All right, is um, in symbolic notation is equal to equal to 36. All right, so in this scenario, we have two total cost calculations that we're going to be carrying out. The first total cost calculation involves the total cost of adult tickets. The total cost of adult tickets is basically the unit cost of adult tickets or unit price multiplied by the quantity, okay? So we're going to have, we're going to be multiplying for the adults, the unit price, unit price for adults times quantity, quantity of adult tickets. That's what we're looking at. Uh, so that's the total cost of adult, um, adult tickets, okay? And then for student tickets, the same, we're going to be multiplying the unit price for uh, student tickets, we're going to be multiplying that by the quantity of student tickets that um, were bought, okay? And that is equal to 36. All right, so let's set it up. What's the unit price for adult tickets? Let's go up to the problem. For adult tickets, um, it says it costs $8 for adult tickets. So we'll put that down. 
we have A for the unit price for adult tickets times the amount of adult tickets bought is 12. Okay. Um, and minus the unit price for student tickets is S and the quantity of student tickets is 18. Okay. So this difference is equal to 36. Let's go ahead and um, write our answer in standard notation. So for this problem, the answer is going to be, you know, you put the coefficients first, right? So 12A minus 18S is equal to 36. So the answer is uh, option letter C. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at the other options real quick just to see why they are there. Option A is the quotient, okay? Here you're dividing, so remember division is quotient. So option A is your quotient, and um, let's see, so option A is quotient, and then option B is the product, all right? So option A is a quotient, option B is a product, All right, so remember, product means multiply, okay? So product is multiplication. That's what's happening with B. Option A is the quotient, which is division. Option C is the difference, minus, which is what we're looking for. Option D is the sum, which is addition. And option E is not applicable here because the setup is wrong. Um, the amount, the quantity and unit price combination is inaccurate here. You're multiplying the quantity of students with the uh, unit price of adults, which is which is wrong. Okay, so option E is not even applicable um, to this situation. All right, so the correct answer is option C since we're looking for the difference which represents subtraction. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the ACTs, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions, comments, or special requests that will help you do well on the um, ACT, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload videos to our page on a weekly basis, so subscribe so you can get notification of future updates. If you'd like to gain access to a wide variety of support resources to help you pass the ACT, do visit our website at matgotserve.com. Also take a look at the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.